Hey, what's going on, guys? I love doing these type of, I call them masterclass sessions to give you an opportunity to come to and not only build your selling skills, but for many of you who are out there teaching your team, also to help you with your team, be able to do the one thing you know you need them all to do, and that is to be able to follow up. And that's what this particular session is going to be about. This session day is called Follow Up system so this is the follow-up system master class and for for many of you this will be all about how do you actually double triple or in some, hey, what's some going cases called 200 more income system so this in is your respective era than whatever you're doing master right now class. and, and for, does not sound pretty good i mean it's all imagine for a moment how do you, you able to generate actually an extra double five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars even twenty thousand dollars a month all because you implemented income. one system that you improved. And I want you to think for a moment, what is your number one follow-up system that you have in place today? Like your number one, if you think about all the systems you have right now, what is your number one follow-up system? And don't worry, this session today, we're gonna to talk about how to get 200% increase in follow-up revenue using the evergreen revenue i'm sorry the evergreen selling system the evergreen selling system and once you have the system you have it for the rest of your life so yes there is a lifetime benefit of you tuning in so i want to welcome all of you who are who are just tuning in from all over the world welcome 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 it's an honor and a privilege to be here in the serbian as you're doing it do me a favor as we get kicked off because we're going to get started we've got so much to cover but i want you to do me a favor look right below the video look right below the video and just put shay we hear you just that shay we hear you and that's just a bat signal to me that I can be heard so that I make sure that um, I'm not talking and um, you're not hearing me. So do me a favor, look right below the video and just put Shay, we hear you. Just put Shay, we hear you. And again, that's a bad signal that you hear me, um, that I know you're there. You know I'm there. <laughs> you know, there's nothing like getting started and, and um, no one can hear you because you didn't do a quick check in just to make sure so do me a favor look below the video put shay we hear you put shay we hear you now as we get started i want you to know something that's very important and that 44 percent give up after the first follow-up with a prospect so if you have a sales team right now and you want to know why aren't sales where they need to be what's the challenge with follow-up well i want you to know that 44 percent of all the folks guess what they're doing they are, mm, you can see that right there. After the first follow-up, they're out. And so on this particular session, doing this masterclass, I want to give you a follow-up system that is easy, one that's duplicatable, and one that you can use immediately in your business in order to really take it to another level and generate more revenue. Now, 10% of all sales folks make more than three contacts with a prospect before they're even considering the purchase. So I want you to thank him. Once someone is coming to your system, how many contacts do you have before they even move forward? And I was talking to someone recently, they said, Shay, I gotta be honest with you, I have no idea. And you know what I told them? You're not alone. A number of folks, when folks first come in, they have no idea. What's up, Ricardo? What's up, Brandy? What's up, Kristen? Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for being part of where we are yet. But here's the point that I want to make, and here's the message that's so important. 80% of sales close between the fifth and 12th contact. Now, that contact has changed so much over the years because some folks think you've got to talk to them, but that's not the case. In many cases, the contact could have come through an email. The contact could have come through a text message. The contact could have come directly through a video. There's a lot of ways that you can contact them. I have one client that works hard to contact on social media. And so if you think about it, hmm, Jay, if 80% of sales don't close until the fifth or 12th contact, what do I need to do to make sure that I'm contacting them? Well, here's something that really blew my mind and I wanna share it with you and it made a huge difference for me. 90% of small businesses are missing out on 80% of the revenue. So 80% of just the opportunities that they would typically have to work with someone they're missing out on, and the reason they're missing out on it isn't because they're not working hard, it isn't because they're not trying, it isn't because they don't wanna serve the person, it's because they truly have no 
follow-up system. Or let me back that thing up. Let me say it just a little bit differently so you can understand. All because they don't follow up consistently and effectively. If you had to rate your follow-up system on a scale of 1 to 10 right now, 1 meaning it's not too good, and 10 meaning it's the greatest it is right now, when I work with most folks, do you think they are a 5 or below in follow-up? Or do you think they are a six or higher? And I'll tell you, most folks, maybe this is you, are about a five or below in the area of having a follow-up system where they're able, hear this out, where they're able to follow up consistently and effectively. So it begs the question, why won't you follow up? What's the big challenge? What's holding you back? What's one of the reasons? Well, I, I'll share with you one of the reasons is, and I think it's common, I don't think there's anything wrong with this, but I want you to think, if you were more effective in your follow-up, what would that mean to your revenue? For most folks, the obvious answer, and it's not a bad answer, is you're just too busy to follow up. I mean, I mean, check it out, seriously. I mean, with all the things you've got going on right now in your business, and if this sounds like you, say, hey, Shay, this sounds like me. What's up, Laditia? Thanks for joining. What's up, Carol? Good to see you. It's not that you're doing other things, it's just between all of the hats you need to wear in any given day, following up with prospects can easily fall through the cracks. And it's not like these people who said, I wanna buy, I wanna buy, I wanna buy. It's someone that may have opted in. It's someone you might have met at an event. It's someone that may have referred someone to you on Facebook Messenger, or someone that may have referred someone to you on LinkedIn, or maybe it's someone who said they were interested in buying, they, they thought about it, and they wanted to get back to you. And for whatever reason, because there was no follow-up system, they fell right through the cracks. And here's what I want you to know. It's not your fault. It is not your fault. You're, you're working hard. You have a heart to give. You have a heart to serve. You, you, you want to help as many people as possible. And you're doing so many things during the day that sometimes life happens or in this case, business happens. And it may have been a while since you slowed down, understanding that your follow-up is a five or below. It might have been a while since you just slowed down and said, you know what? Let me do a, a revamp just on my follow-up system because you've heard this before and it's so important. Someone jot this down in your notes. The fortune is in the follow-up. Put down your notes. The fortune is in the follow-up. Put that down in your notes. The fortune is in the follow-up. So now, you don't have to worry about begging. You don't have to worry about pleading. Now, you can have a system in place that does exactly what you need. So our goal today, our goal is to help you automate your sales follow-up process and double sales. Yes, I did say double sales. That's our number one goal. That's our number one outcome, and we're going to accomplish that. Our other outcome is to share with you some fill-in-the-blank templates. I mean, some, some templates that you can use for your text messaging, some templates that you can use for your emails, some templates you can use for social media, some templates that you can use for your voice messages when you're following up. See, the fortune, you've heard it before, the fortune is in the follow-up. And again, again, it's not your fault. You're all too busy to follow up. You got so many hats to wear. You've got to talk to so many folks. Things just fall through the cracks and I want you to know that it's just not your fault. So I'm glad that you're here right now. I'm glad that we're in this conversation. And, and, and I want to share with you what my number one outcome is. I want to share my number one outcome. My number one outcome in our time today is number five. is a step-by-step -step implementation plan and a process that you can customize that you can walk away, but you can use during this time that you have right now, because it was ever a time right now, now is that time. Shout out to Dwayne that's joining on. What's up, Ramon? Hey, Raymond Ray, what's going on, man? What's up, Carol? What's up, Maddie? It is always a pleasure. And so now, for some of you who are just tuning in and want to know who is speaking, you're just joining for the first time. My name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. And I am the founder of CEO Desk, where we're on a mission. And, I, and our mission really is to make sure that you have all the resources that you need in three core areas. We provide copywriting services because sometimes you have to say something to somebody, whether it's in writing, whether it's over the phone, whether it's through a website, uh, whether it's through email. And I believe 
believe copywriting is the number one skill that you need to be successful in business. And so it makes sense that we want to help you and focus on that. The second area that we focus on, obviously, is making sure that you have all the funnel systems in place. But third, and this I think this is most important, is to make sure that we're the sales team for you while you're out there every single day. And I was like you. Um, as an entrepreneur, I was doing it all. And you have to do it all, I get you. Some of you don't have a team. I'm blessed to have a team, but even in having a team, I try to do so much. So some of you are a mom during the day. Some of you are a dad. Uh, some of you out there have other responsibilities. Some of you have to do all the marketing and all the sales and all the graphics and all of the automation and the administrative assistant stuff. So there's so much stuff that it can be overwhelming. And having been there, I had to slow down. And I had to think to myself, wait a minute, Shay, Wait a minute, there, there, there's some clients out there that you've got to focus on. There's, there's some clients that you got to stop in. So what would it take to really follow up with three types of prospects? And I want you to jot these three things down in your notes. And, and, and these are folks who didn't say yes after the first buy. Now, I knew I needed to follow up. It wasn't a new idea. I knew I was leaking revenue in an area that I could, if I slowed down, I could plug, but I couldn't be in this conversation. Yes. I have Infusionsoft, and yes, I have this tool, and yes, I have this software. But you know, when you have it, if you're not utilizing some of it, and you haven't taken time to go and put a process in place, you find yourself in a position where you have everything you need, you just haven't done it. So I wanna, I wanna share with you during this conversation, Follow Up Mastery, how to automatically close three types of prospects who do not buy after your first sales call. And number one, someone jot this right below. If you just tune it in, look right below and write ghosted. <laughs> Do me a favor, you don't wanna put ghosted, just look right below the video and put type one. Just look right below the video and put type one. And do me a favor, as you're putting type one, make sure you hit the share button. Make sure you hit the share button. If you haven't shared this, hit the share button right now. Um, hit the watch party button and when you do that, write these words, give value, I mean, serve plus serve plus give value. That's what we're going to do on this call. We're going to serve plus we're going to serve plus we're going to give value. Do that right now and go ahead and pay this message forward. Share it to someone else. Another entrepreneur. What's up, Beverly? Hey, what's going on, Lene? Good to see you. What's going on, Kelvin? Share this message. Now, I got to get back to training, but I want you to share it. Don't keep it to yourself. We're trying to help as, as many entrepreneurs as possible as many small businesses as possible, as many speakers or authors or coaches or network marketers or influencers or experts that are out there every single day and they know they need to improve their business and they have an interest in serving. Don't only do this and share this with people who have an interest in serving. All right, so I think there's three types. Let me give you type one. Type one is what? Ghosted. Someone write type one, ghosted. That's number one. That's one of the ones we'll talk about. There's another type. <coughs> And we'll be sharing how to automatically close three types of prospects who do not buy after your first sales call. Type two says, I just need to dot, dot, dot. Maybe I'll do it, but I got to dot, dot, dot. I need to check in with my husband. I need to check in with my business partner. They're thinking about it. They're there, and, and you've had these conversations. If none of this sounds familiar to you, it's okay. It just means that you haven't spoken to enough people. <laughs> you talk to more people, you're going to hear these three types. And the third type is, I don't have the money yet. But I like the second phrase, because I get this often, and maybe you get this as well. <sighs> but I'm ready, and as soon as I can afford it, I'm in. Yet, it doesn't happen. And, and, I, and I think these are, are, are the three types. So the first type is what? The ghosted, write that down, the ghosted one. Type two is the person that says, I need to, but not quite yet. And type three is the person that says, I'm all in, but I just have to wait until I get my money right. And here's what I want you to know. Why throw away time you have invested in calls and contacts with non-buyers? So you've worked so hard, you generated the leads, you, you've had the conversation, they opted in to your uh, free gift or giveaway of value, they attended your webinar, they attended your conference call, you met them, well, 
back in the day. You met them at a conference or a networking event. I'm sure that'll happen again. You met them online uh, in, in, in a Facebook group or a LinkedIn group or an Instagram group. Uh, you met them in meetups, and, and you've got these folks, and you've had conversations, and we don't want to just toss it away. We want to keep them exactly where they are. So here's something that I shared with one of my clients recently, and, and I think it, it makes a lot of sense. And it's going to make sense for you, I hope. I said, many of your best clients will not buy during the first sales call. In fact, going for the close too soon can push them away. Now, I start off by sharing with you that most sales are made on the fifth to twelfth contact. And so that means if someone had a discovery call, if someone watched a video, if someone connected with you online and they had an interest, it doesn't mean they're going to do it that exact day, but we've got to have this system in place. So the question is, what's the system? And that's what I'm going to line up for you right now. That's the question. This will create the biggest breakthrough. So now you know, you know what? The first sales call, no worries, Shay. I don't have to do anything at all. You're absolutely correct. Now, I, I want to show you like right now, I want to pull back the big black curtain and I want to show you right now the seven step system and the seven step system will help you for exactly where you are now to exactly where you want to go. And it will make the huge difference for you. Now, again, if, if you have a system that you're using right now, cool beans, look below the video and share your number one follow-up strategy like take a moment right now and of all the ways you follow up of all the ways you follow up look right below the video and I want you to write these words seriously write these words right now my number one follow-up system is dot 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 what is your number one follow-up system now I'm, I'm gonna share with you seven and, and I'm gonna go through these for you quickly and I'm gonna share these to you but 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 what is yours um I had a conversation as I was working on this with a colleague and I was kind of sharing some of the steps and I said I want to give them seven steps that I'm that I, I recommend and I also want to share eight powerful suggestions over here and you know what the person said said Shay as I'm listening to you my follow-up system is begging begging right now Shay to be updated and maybe that's you. As you hear some of these ideas, you're like, shit, I know about that, but it's time for me to update my follow-up system. And I want you to imagine for a moment right now, what would it mean in your business if you was able to follow up more effectively, more efficiently? You weren't worried about your website being updated. You weren't worried about your business cards being updated, but instead you are creating a follow-up system that you can do over and over and over and over and over again. So let's go ahead and talk about those. For those folks that are out there to say, she has one a copy of the presentation. I'm feeling you. I know my system is begging for an update. Um, I just need a follow up um, audit. I need to take a look at what I have. Um, I've got some tools. I don't have some tools. And I just want to get it customized. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it through this whole thing. No worries. We build systems, we build strategies, and we act as your sales team. So here's what you can do. You can text the word follow up, like right now. Like, let's say you want a copy of the presentation and you already know it. No worries. You want a copy of the notes. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you templates that you can use. Um, I'll get through that. You're like, Shay, I already know I want a copy of the templates. I don't, I don't know when you're going to show it to them. Let's show them. Look, can we show them the templates? Do we have? Okay. Oh, it's, it's to the side, you know. Ooh, move it to the side. There you go. Um, we're going to show you different templates that you can use that are just plug and play templates. Um, that you'll be able to use for the ghosted client. I'm going to go through all that, and maybe you want it. you like, I just want a copy of the template. Um, I, I want to know exactly what I need to do. I'll listen, but hey, I'm all in. Here's what you need to do. You need to text the word follow-up right now. There's no cost. There's no catch. Text the word follow-up to 202-270-1662. Again, 202-270-1662. Text the word follow up, and then when you do that, include your first name, include your last name, include your best contact number in your email. I'm requiring your best mobile number in your email so we can text you all the details. This is my personal cell phone number. What's up, Dr. Talisha? And so many of you who are joining in. And that's just for some of you like, Shay, I'm, I'm already in. I mean, I, I want it. No worries. 
we'll get that over to you. I'm glad that you're here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate you. Let's create your best follow-up sequence ever. Let's 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 like walk through that together and let's let's make that a reality. Step number one, everyone jot this down. Someone put step number one below and write down get a fresh start. To develop a new and improved strategy, forget your old follow-up sequences. I'm gonna ask that you do that. I'm gonna ask that you forget your old follow-up sequences. See, mentally setting them aside and starting over from scratch will give you a fresh perspective. And we're shooting for a complete top to bottom overhaul of your automated follow-up systems. So instead of just sitting there and thinking, oh, what I need to do, what I need to do, what I need to do, no, no, we're going to get a fresh start. Someone look below the video and say, get a fresh start. Just, no, seriously, yeah, put step number one, put step number one, get a fresh start. It's time for you to get a fresh start on your follow-up systems. This is your moment, and we're going to get it from the top all the way to the bottom. We're going to overhaul overhaul your follow-up system i know that sounds good some of you are already thinking man how much more income can i earn some of you are thinking how much more money can i put in my pocket if i just make sure i start from scratch shay do i gotta get rid of my old systems no but we're going to change our mindset we're going to change the way that we think and we're going to put the old to the side and we'll be open to a new fresh way of going i love it i love it. okay step number two now when you do this this is going to inspire you to achieve a major leap in performance because once you do this you're like oh my gosh i wasn't even thinking about this like like right now you should be getting fired up like every time i do this i just get so fired up because i'm like you know what i'm about to take a leap i'm about to i'm about to warp forward like this is like the rocket fuel that I need right now to go to an entirely different level. And my follow-up system, if they say the money is in the follow-up, the fortune is in the follow-up, then I'm leaving a lot of dollars on the table. If you're leaving money on the table, don't worry about it. You just write down fresh start. <laughs> number two, number two, someone jot this down in your notes right now. Number two, pick the destination. Jot that down right now. Pick the destination that you're going to be going to. We're going to develop two separate follow-up sequences okay so put down number two pick your follow-up destination and we're going to develop two not one but two not one two separate follow-up sequences one for our prospects and one for our existing customers because our focus changes after their first purchase and at some point, we shift from helping people understand why they should do business with us to educating them and building trust to customer service, to encouraging repeat purchases and getting referrals. As you create your new follow-up strategy, you want to guide by a clear picture of the ideal experience that you want them to have. Now, I, I struggled with this for, for so long because... I was really good at going out and the team could go out there and we could sell. We could, we could find someone with a problem. We could offer a solution and we were like all in and I would get so excited and I'm like, okay, let's go get the next prospect and let's go get the next customer that I didn't have a follow-up sequence for those clients that were coming in. And it wasn't that we didn't, we could do a much better job of customer service, but there was no automated way to touch them, to love on them. So, okay, so, so, okay, Shay, just give me a recap. Okay, okay, recap. We're going to create two st separate experiences. One for your prospects. So some of you write down one for your prospects. Someone put that down, one for your prospects. And then we're going to create one for our customers because we know that our focus is going to change with our what? We know this already. Once they become what? A customer. We already know this. And so as that changes, we shift to encouraging repeat purchases. And I'm going to put down here, and that's so important, is referrals. Someone say, Shay, I rarely seldom get referrals. And that doesn't mean you didn't do a good job. But there may not have been a referral system in place for clients that were starting to work with you. And this is really, really, really important. 
So I don't want you to miss this. So I want you to imagine that you got a follow-up sequence in place. I want you to imagine that you're asking for referrals. You're getting repeat purchases. And now what are we doing? Is we are creating the perfect, and I do mean perfect, customer experience. We know it won't happen unless we envision it, unless we define it, unless we work on it, unless we make it unique, we make it different, we make it stand out. We, 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 we make them say, you know what? This is good for me and this is good for other folks. See, as a prospect, I want to wow them. From the moment they confirm their subscription, I want to provide such great content that they're excited to see emails from me. I want them to think of me as a friend, as an ally, as an expert along this journey. And this is what having a follow up system will do. And I missed this point. I probably lost a couple of million dollars because I didn't have a follow up system, not just for the prospect, but I'm going to tell you about for the customer. And, and, and I didn't create that experience. And, and I don't want that to be you because you get excited because the money will come in because you're going to work hard. The money will come in because you're going to serve more people. The money will come in. But if you don't create that experience, uh, that perfect customer experience. What's up, Kim Shivo? Hey, Kim. <laughs> hey, what's good to see you? What's up, Daryl? Good to see you. What's up, Kelvin, my man? Jackie, thanks for joining in, and so many of you. So we got the prospect, but I said we got to give two different views of the world. So what about the customer? Shay, what do you want to do as a customer? I get as a prospect, you want to wow them from the very beginning. You want them to think of you as the happy entrepreneur. I'm here to serve. I'm here to give value. Nobody's going to outgive me. I believe in three things. Serve plus serve plus give value. And then if they want a solution, they'll talk to you about that. And that's just one of our core beliefs. We're going to serve, serve, give value. Serve plus serve plus give value. So that's what I want to prospect. But I wasn't applying that on the other side. And that was a problem. So I had to think about as a customer, what would I want the experience to be? Now, remember, what's up, Edith? I want you to remember that we got to give two experiences. As a customer, I want to provide such excellent service to my customers. They feel obligated. And we talked about referrals earlier. They feel obligated, you see that in blue, to share our website with their friends and family. And they won't hesitate to purchase again. We're talking about the money is in the follow-up. We're talking about the money is in the follow-up. We're talking about the fortune is in the follow-up. But version do they say is for prospects and for existing customers. And, and that's what I want to lay on you today. I want you to... It's kind of like mm, throw the old way out right now and just be open to a new way. Be open to doing something different. Step number three is, is so important, and I, and I want you to, to really pay attention. Know what you'll do along the way. In, in summary, you created this destination. Now you have to choose all the stuff you're going to do in route to this, to this destination. Really spend some time considering ideally what would my autumn made it follow-up system do for me i want you to think about that for a moment what would it do for you if you had automation in place right now and you could follow up what would it mean to your business how much extra revenue could you earn over and beyond what you're earning today how many more lives could you touch right now if you automate it? remember i'm not saying your labor needs to be involved we're gonna talk about how to automate it to have a process, have a team that does it for you. And when I started thinking through the list of things, I was like, oh my goodness. I could get a headache just looking at all the things that a system could do. It could increase referrals. It could create more affiliates. It could create trust. It could increase repeat visits. It could increase big ticket back end sales. It could position me as the best. You know what? I could really reduce refunds. And yeah, refunds do happen. I could educate folks on the benefits. I mean, I want you to think, I want you to write down in your notes right now. This is a working session. I want you to take a look up here and I want you to grab three benefits that if you could automate your process right now, what would it mean to you? How would that make a difference for where you are right now? We're talking about a follow-up system.
We're not talking about intellectually getting it. We're not talking about you've been through training on it. We're not talking about you read a book about it or watched some video. No, no, no. We're talking about your automating your follow-up sequence in a way that speaks directly to your prospects. And this is where you pick the results. Your follow-up produces. So you take your time. Now, I'm going to go back. If you didn't right now, I want you to write down right now, what would it do for you? Like, like seriously, like right now in your notes, pick three of these off the top right now, three that, 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 that really work for you. And if you want to pick four, that's fine. If you want to copy this, many of you already texted in. So some, many of you already texted in because you're like, hey, Shay, I'm all in. I want to I want to get a copy of the notes. I want to get a copy of what you're doing. Some of you have already done that. And I'll be happy to share it with you. That's not a problem because we're going to go warp speed. If you didn't get a chance to do it earlier, you can text the word follow up. Text the word follow up to 202-270-1662. You're not getting happy. You're going to get something else. Oh, that's wrong. Text the word follow up. <laughs> we got to update this. We're not perfect, ladies and gentlemen. We're not perfect. But I wanted to create this for you. This is your follow up. <laughs> this is like real time. Follow up system audit and the notes and customize revenue session all righty all righty there we go there we go there we go there we go we're going to update that like real time um and I, and I think i showed you earlier i think i did i hope i did i showed you where we're also going to make sure hit the save button um now when you do text you got to include your first name Include your last name, include your best contact number. That's my personal cell phone. That's my personal cell phone. Uh, we'll reach out to you. And once you do that, you'll, you'll, you'll get that. Oh, I got to change the phone number. It's saying, Shay, that's not even your phone number. Oh, she, Monique, this is an old one here. Let me update this right now. Do, 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 do. 202. <laughs> Aha, oh my gosh. All right, this is real time, ladies and gentlemen. This is real time. Okay, I was using a template to make it easier, but I'm gonna do this here. Include first, last name, mobile number, and email. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. I'm feeling better already. Uh, you guys like, Shay, that's not your personal number. This is my personal number here. You can text. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Never a dull moment, is it? There's never a dull moment. Talk about fall up. I wouldn't have been fall up with anybody, would we? No, we would not have. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled program uh, here. <laughs> you text that in and, and I'm gonna get that to you. I think I think earlier, I think we did commit, I believe we did commit to, to showing you guys um, one of the things I'm gonna love doing later. I can't wait. Um, when we get to that, I'm going to go rapid fire in a moment, but I can't wait to go over some of the templates that we have that's going to make your life easier. So you don't have to wonder what you're going to say uh, for the ghosted clients and so forth. We're going to just give this to you. So for everyone that texted in 202-270-1662, you're going to get that. Now, you've got to separate your goals by whether they are a prospect or a customer. Now, we talked about earlier that we're going to do it for both. We talked about that earlier. So now that you had this list over here, and some of you wrote down two, some of you wrote down three, some of you took a screenshot of that. I got it. I got it. Some of you got that now. Now we're going to say, okay, we got this list. It's getting longer as we go. But let me show you what my list looked like when I did this. And I just had a, a, a conversation with someone, and this was one, two, three, four, five days ago. Um, and we went over this list here. And this was my list. I shared it with them. You'll get copies of this. I want to share it with you. But your goals for your prospect follow-up, they're going to look different for different folks. Um, my goal is to establish value proposition. So I want them to know up front that nobody is going to outgive us. Like, like, no, seriously, I'm not trying to be funny. Nobody's going to outgive us. So we're going to, we're going to give value like value has never been given before. Um, I also want to position us as the premier solution. So they've, they've got some options in their industry. Um, they can work with other folks. But if we can help them with their copywriting services, we can provide them with client winning sales funnels and or we can help be the sales team, be their dream sales team. 
then we got a we 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 got a we got a, we got an opportunity to do some some amazing things in the world. And so I wanted them to know that. I also wanted them to know that they can get to us anytime, any places. And if they wanted to assign their top leads to a place, that we would be that place that they would go to. So I want you to think about what are, what are your goals with your prospects as you're working with them? What are your goals? And then what are the goals? Let's look at it a little differently now. What are the goals for your customer follow-up? Now, I looked at it a little differently. And, and, and this, this, you know, don't, don't do it just how I do it. Um, but remember, we're overhauling the system. I believe that systems beat goals every single time. So people have a goal, what they want to do with their prospects. They have a goal on how they want the clients, but there's no system in place. Jot that down in your notes. Someone look right below the video and write that down right now. Systems be goals every single time. And, and so I had to look at what were the systems that I wanted for the cl client follow-up and how did I want to follow up with them? And where did I want to go? So I said, okay, give a free gift as a thank you. So every time I get an opportunity, I want to give something of value. I want to make sure that we measure customer satisfaction. I want to make sure that we increase repeat business. Now, they don't have to do business with us. This was just some of the goals. You pick one off of here. In the time we have, you pick one that may resonate best with you. Now, now it's time to move on to step four. And step four is we got to get there. Now that you know what you want to do, it's time to get the rubber closer to the road. And we've got to use certain statements along the way that's going to help us. So how are we going to do this? Shay? How am I going to get the rubber closer to the road? How am I going to get a little, a little bit closer to what I'm doing? Well, there's a couple things you can do. You can measure a couple things. You can measure increase engagement. So you can make a decision that you're going to increase the engagement by maybe emailing, maybe having a blog post, maybe asking what content they want. Maybe you're going to offer some incentives. Now, I want you to be thinking about this because you've heard before that the fortune is in the follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up. Yet, when I speak to my clients and, and I do the talk to other folks, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 meaning they do an okay job, depending on the mood they're good feeling that day, and 10 meaning they're like the world's greatest person at follow-up. Do you think most folks rate themselves a 5 or below? or six or higher. Now, now, no matter how you do this, you ask yourself right now, when you look at your follow-up system for prospects and your follow-up system for existing customers and you bring the two together, what level is your system on right now? And I want you to imagine that if you're at my seminars and we don't do those anymore, if I did a poll right now, most folks are five or below, although they know the fortune is in the fall up. They know it's an important, but they got so much stuff going on. They haven't had a chance to slow down. And so we want to help them take that from a five to a six or a six to a seven, because for some folks, when they have that right fall up sequence, it's another ten thousand dollars a month. $30,000 a month. Some clients $50,000 a month or more. And it wasn't that they weren't working hard. It was that they didn't have the right follow-up sequence. So we can increase engagement. That's just one way of making it happen. We can increase repeat sales by sending information on rewards program or giving customers only discounts. I was chatting with someone and they, they said, you know what, Jay? I had never implemented my affiliate program. I know about it. That's a follow-up sequence for customers. I heard about it, but I had never really put it in place. I said, why not? I said, how can you go month after month after month? You know it, but they said, Shay, I just, didn't, I just didn't have the time to actually make it happen. And when they don't have the time to make it happen, that could be challenging for anybody that's out there right now. Oh, I think we did something here. Okay, let me see here. Doo -doo. There we go. Okay, the next one we want to put down is you can increase your order size. And, 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 and here's one way you can do that. And even no matter what system you use, once someone makes a purchase, you can already have a one-click upgrade offer immediately. So as soon as they make a purchase, there's some type of way that they can upgrade. ClickFunnels does this well. You can use Infusionsoft, Entreport. You can use a lot of different CRMs. That's not what I'm here to talk about right now. What I'm here to talk about is how can you improve your follow-up system? What can you do to increase the orders that you put out there. So when you start and you start making a list, 
I want you to start thinking, man, one, two, three, shade, four, five, six, seven, shade. There's a lot of things that you can do. I've probably given five to six great ideas right now. But I don't want you to stop with just the five or six ideas. Because when you're writing your laundry list right now, and maybe you're still writing your laundry list, you're writing it down right now saying, Shay, I got it. Shay, I feel you. Shay, I'm in. I'm looking at it right now. How can I increase it based on my, in, my own industry? I get that right now. But here's what I want you to know. And this is so important. The breakthrough, your best ideas, might be in number 17 through 31. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you stop at just five ideas, you'll never find the best of the best ideas. You That won't happen. What's up, Helen? Good to see you. What's up, Sandra? Thanks for joining. Zandra, all of you who are joining in, thanks so much. And, and so I, I remember reading the book Becoming, and it's by Michelle Obama, right? And it's a great book. Everyone should read the book. And in the book, she's talking to her daughters, and her daughter, I forgot which one, came to her, and it was a little disappointed because she turned in her paper, and the school teacher gave her like a B. Which back in my day, I'd have been glad to have a B, by the way. A B is good. I would take a B any day. <laughs> this is back in my day. And so Michelle asked her. She said, was that your first draft? And it was a, it was a report. She says, yeah, I did it, turned it in. And she said these words, at least in the book, and I was listening to it on Audible, that I'll never remember. And this is why this slide is up here right now. This is why I want to push you past just the top five ideas. She said, your first draft is never your best draft. So whatever you write down now, you need to step back and then go look at it again. And then step back and then go look at it again. And that's what's gonna happen right now. You're gonna write down some ideas. We're at number five of seven, then I got eight power ideas. But for you as you're listening right now, you're thinking I can improve my follow-up system, but I give you some ideas, but I want you to write down as many ideas as you can, looking at it through two lenses, prospects and customers. Prospects and customers. This is so like super important. Step number five is we got to map it out. When it comes to laying out the exact follow-up and email sequence, pen and paper might be the best way to hammer out a few drafts. Just make sure you've got plenty of paper because there are going to be false starts and errors. There's going to be things along the way as you look at trying to get to where you want to get to. So be sure your follow-up system delivers content. <coughs> that is, let me give you a few examples and, and these, these, these examples are the goals of your sequence, depending on your business model. But generally speaking, be sure your follow-up marketing delivers content that is. Well, you pick a few on here. <coughs> Excuse me, you pick a few on here that are important to you. Position you as the best of the best. Now that's, that's a typo. That's a typo there, um, goes to show that we're not perfect, but it should be the best of the best, not the best of the best breed, the best of the best. Make sure your content, mm, make sure your content delivers as much value as possible. Because if you're communicating and you're just trying to sell, 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 who wants to hear that all day long? But if you're providing value, you're providing solutions, you're doing all that, then that makes a huge, huge difference for you and it makes a huge difference for them. Now, I want you to go ahead and write this down because I want you to have this as part of what your follow-up system is going to look like. Unfortunately, your prospect isn't paying attention to everything you say. Be somewhat repetitive. Find your core message in your follow-up. You know, how true is that? That is, isn't that so true at the end of the day? that at the end of the day, we already know that the fortune is in the follow-up, and so we have to keep the core messages along the same way. They're not gonna remember everything. Who does? Who does? Who, who expects that? Step number five is make a plan. When you feel satisfied, your follow-up marketing ideas will achieve the vision you created. Step two is decide where you're going and the goals you created in step three. Know what you're doing along the way. It's time to get the ball rolling. Here's what I want you to do. Make a list of what you need to create to make this happen. And, and I know oftentimes we don't do that. Um, I've been guilty. I get it in my head intellectually, but I never put it into my notepad. And if I don't do that, 
then guess what? If I don't create that list, you've heard this before. What gets measured gets managed. Someone jot that down and you know. Someone look right below the video and write those words. What gets measured gets managed. Someone hit the share button. If you haven't hit the share button right now, hit the share button. Hit the watch party button right now. When you hit that watch party button, I want you to tell yourself or write these words, serve, serve, and give value. We're talking about the follow-up system. <clears throat> so you can have a follow-up system that you're using right now to follow up with different individuals along the way. Here's the question I have. Do you have your list? And if you don't, it's time to put that list together. Most content you need to create, such as emails, what content? Um, maybe there's free reports. Um, you know, the number one email that's open, by the way, the number one email that's read is the welcome email. So whether they got a gift from you, it was the first introduction. The first induction is a welcome. So if someone connects me and you on Facebook and I decide to send them a message and thank them for the introduction and introduce myself, that's probably going to get read. And that is a first content contact. Now, behind the scenes, I can send them a special report. I can send them a special gift. There are things that we can do to allow them to stay where we are. But there might also be an entirely new projects that you need to plan out. There's some things that you need to do to get it off the ground. Step number seven is learn from where you've been. It's probably going to take you a while to implement your new automated follow-up strategy. So you have an opportunity to make sure you mind your old follow-up sequence for all the data it holds before switching things over. If you haven't already identified key metrics, you need to be able to identify the key metrics that you're gonna measure along the way. Now, I'm gonna share a couple of suggestions with you that I think are very important, but you've heard this before, and some of you wrote that down below, especially it relates to follow-up, but here it is. What gets measured gets managed. Someone jot that down. Do me a favor, look right below the video and write those words. What gets measured gets managed. So we have to have these key metrics so we can measure performance along the way. So Shay, it begs the question, I think it's a reasonable question and a reasonable time. What are some of the key metrics that I can use along this journey? Well, one of them for email might be open rate. It might be the number of folks who clicked on to a link, chatting with someone recently and they were sending out text messages. And I asked in that embedded link, did they at least have a traceable so they can see how many people at least clicked on it? Because if you're sending a text message, wouldn't you want to know if anyone even clicked on the link? Now, I get it that you can say they got to the page, but wouldn't you want both me measures along the way? And it was a small thing, a simple thing, but yet it was really, really important. My favorite out of all of them is number seven and number eight. Shay, what are number seven and number eight? You got to look. Well, if you listen to the podcast, you can't do that. You, but number seven is average time to purchase. I like, I, like to, I like to measure that. When someone comes in and they're considering working with us, I don't just take it for granted they're going to start working with us. No, no, that's not what I do. I immediately step back and I tell myself, wait a minute, if they come aboard and they're here, they're here for a reason. How can we best serve them? And then if we're best serving them, how can we do it in a way that makes sense and makes sense? <laughs> someone write that down in your notes. It has to make sense and makes sense. Don't you agree with me? It does have to. Now, now I want to share at least eight powerful lessons that you can learn to help you with your email strategy. And then we're coming down the home stretch. I'm, I'm going to share that with you. And that's coming up in just a second. I want to make sure you get that. For some of you, you're out there thinking, I need to have my follow-up audit. I need to have someone take a look at my copy that's going out and my follow-up for my customers and more importantly for my new prospects. Uh, some of you are thinking, I just need the notes from tonight. I just need to get the presentation. Others are thinking, I want to get the script on following up with ghosted clients. Here's what you need to do because we build systems, we build strategy, and we act as your sales team. Do me a favor. Text the word follow-up. Text the word follow-up. This is to my personal sale number, so it doesn't go anywhere else. Go to my personal sale number to 202 270-1662, again, 202-270-1662. Once you do that, you must put your first name, put your last name, put your best contact number and email, and yeah, you'll get all the goodies. So yeah, you get the follow-up script. Yeah, you, you get to fill in the blank template. Yes, 
Um, but you also have an opportunity to have your follow-up system done with an audit and some recommendations that you can use immediately to help you in your business. Now, why do we do this? Because we believe in the giver's economy. The person that outgives the competition out earns the competition. Let me say that again. The person that outgives the competition out earns the competition. So we want to give and then give and then give value. So you can get the solutions you're looking for. So go ahead and text 202. 202- 270-1662 text follow up to get your follow up audit no cost no catch no charge all right eight powerful lessons that i've learned along the way that i want to share with you and i, I think this is going to be very important for you like I, I think at the at the end of the day where when it all starts off um you're gonna you're gonna ask yourself you know shay why are you saying email and I, I think I'm going to do a whole separate one on this at some point. I, I, I really am. But I don't want to get into that right now. Look, everyone sends email that don't get responses. So no matter who you are or what you're doing, I get it. You're out there. You're sending out email, right? And sometimes you don't get responses. But I want you to know that 70% of salespeople give up entirely if they don't get a reply to their first email. So they send an email and they don't hear back from the person. They're likely not to send that person an email again. But that's not you. No, no, that's not you. Mastering the art of follow-up emails is a power that shouldn't be underestimated. Some folks keep saying, Shay, email's been around for 100 years. Well, yeah, maybe so. But it still works. Okay, it still works. You know, the average person has at least three emails now. The average person has three emails. Now, some people have more than three, but on average, they have three emails. So if you see someone right now and you're looking at them, they probably have three emails. But here's what we know. They check all three. (laughs) Some more frequently than others. I get that. But they do check all three. So when you send a cold email, it is a tough game. It's tough. I get that. Doing anything cold is tough. And follow-up is hard. If it was easy, everybody would do it. So let me go ahead and and share some lessons that you can have along the way that's going to help you power your email game, that raise your game to another level. Lesson one, setting up your follow-up process. Because I want you to have a process in place that you can use. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to have a process. And I want you to ask yourself honestly and openly, do I have a, pros- a process in place? Some people have a whole follow-up until they buy or die mentality. And I'm not saying I disagree with that, but there's definitely a time to turn it off. Um, when I was coming up, I was taught that sell, sell, follow-up, follow-up, follow-up until they buy or they die. And, and, and I stopped that mentality. That was the old way of doing it. And there's this paradigm shift that's taking place. Um, so there's definitely a time that you, you've got to turn it off. But in terms of 99% of sales reps, I know they don't fall up enough. They quit very early, which is a mistake. You can't fall up too much in the early part of the engagement. So if you're just meeting someone and it's the early part and you're adding value, you're keeping the conversation going, you're rocking when they're rocking, then this right here can truly be a a, a winner, winner, chicken dinner. (laughs) Winner, winner, chicken dinner, because it's early in engagement, and and there's excitement, and and the person looking at it and saying, okay, is this real or is this not real? Are they really going to follow up with me? They said they were going to send something. Will I hear from them again? Well, you can't follow up too much early part of the engagement. So I want you to ditch expectations and passive aggressiveness. I I want you to kind of move that to the side. I I want you to focus instead on making sure that you're not passive aggressive. Because many folks, that's what they do. There's this tone that has entitlement or expectations. When you're writing a response to someone or engaging them on the phone, it's your responsibility to get them excited. It's not their responsibility to do what you want them to do. It's not. It's your responsibility. And so, and so, you know, I'm not saying you got to be jumping up and down or screaming or yelling. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you can express 
your excitement and work with them. You can share your enthusiasm on what your product or service can do. Look, it has to feel organic. It has to feel natural. It has to feel good to them. And so when I'm talking and I'm training and I'm teaching, I let look, folks know it's your responsibility to create this feeling for the prospect, for where they are. So I try to teach to avoid certain phrases. So to avoid phrases, if you want to avoid sounding passive aggressive, like I'm falling up because you haven't responded to me yet. Hey, I see you haven't done this yet. I'm just checking in. Hi, this is Shea Brown. I'm just checking in. Okay, thanks for checking in. Well, I checked in. Anything you want to tell me? Oh, what? I'm in the middle of doing something right now. I wasn't even thinking about this. And, and they might have been thinking about it before they got the call from you. And, and, and so now they're checking in. I, I, and, and my favorite is the last one. I mean, I, I try to stay away from that every time I can. I know you're busy. I don't want to waste your time. Well, if you're calling me, if you're sending me an email, if you're sending me a, 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 a Facebook message, Please don't put, I don't want to waste your time. No, no, I'm calling because you asked me to. I'm following up because we had a connection. And, and this is what you need to do. For those folks that are out there and know the follow up, the fortune is in the follow up, do me a favor, look right below the video, look right below the video and write those words. The fortune is in the follow up. The fortune is in the follow up. The fortune is in what? The fortune is in the follow up. Lesson number two, focus on your prospects' unique experience see for many of us out there and as i'm talking to you i'm talking to myself and many folks that are like me this is not one of those pleasant type of fun fun stuff but we know if we do it we know it'll make a difference for us and it'll make a difference for the folks that we work with so 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 we've got to how can i say this focus on your prospects unique experience it's time to amp up the activity the follow-up the emails, the text messages, the social media contacts. It, it's time to take that to an entirely different level, but we have to make sure that we tailor the sales experience for the person that we're working with so it feels unique. Some of you have had a phone call, and one thing I like to share when I'm talking to folks is I want you to feel like you're the only person I'm talking to today. But you feel like you have as much time as you want to express what you're feeling. Now, most folks get it. Like you, like me, everyone's busy. We've got a lot going on. But we've got to tailor the experience. we got to slow down and speed up. So we got to lead with natural sales techniques and not try to be sly or slick or convincing or persuasive. We need to just lead and be who we are where we are. But here's what I want you to do. Jot this in your notes. Lead with value. Lead with value. Lead with value. Lead with value. Someone jot that down right in the notes. We're going to lead with value. So we're giving them solutions. We're helping them on this journey. See, you can do this. You got this. This is your time. And this is the right time to give as much value. Someone says, Shay, but I don't want to give away too much. Look, whatever you're doing right now, there's no disrespect to you. I'll pick my industry. You help someone in sales, you can pick up a rock or you can go to Google and type in sales and information is there. If you're teaching marketing, you can go to Google and type in marketing and the information is there. If, if you help folks with travel, you can go to Google and type in travel and help is there. But what they can't get is they can't get the value that you bring. They can't get your perspective. Jot this in your notes. People buy perspective someone says shay what separates you from other folks i don't know but i know my perspective only comes with me the core values of the company only come with me so you can lead with value all right let's move on because i'm getting i know i got 80s i gotta get through these lesson number three asking for your prospects permission now this is very important because when we're speaking to them the help how can i help you how can i best serve you is like one of the biggest things that we all can do it, it really is so we we want to make sure that we get really original here i hate quick question as a subject line i actually 
like to hear folks just be original. Hey, I was thinking about today. I want to check in with you. So when we're talking to them, don't try to use a cookie cutter approach, but try to be original. Try to influx your own personality in the follow-up. And if you're teaching your sales team, teach them to do the exact same thing. Now more than ever, now more than ever is the time to get original. Someone look right below the video, look right below the video and write those words. What's up, Lene Smith? Write those words, get original. Because this is the time to do that. If there's ever time to get original, now is that time. The fortune is in the fall up. The fortune is fall up. And so you got to know when it's time for you to slow down and switch gears. If someone doesn't respond a couple of attempts on one channel, switch gears and find another channel. Start with social media or if you have their number, call them. It's rare not to find someone on at least one social media platform, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Chatting with someone earlier and they was following up and I said, hey, look, have you sent a LinkedIn message? It was crickets. Have you sent a text message? She have called them three times and haven't answered. Okay, I get that. But you gotta know when it's time to switch gears, when it's time to do something a little bit different. Now, you know, I, I, <laughs> sometimes we gotta just deploy guerrilla sales tactics, okay? We, we gotta like step that up. Phone call, cold phone calls aren't dead. But they work a little better if you if your brand is established. If I say, hey, this is Shay from blank, you might not know who I am. But a lot of folks are starting somewhere. And, and unfortunately, it's a cold market until they offer something of value that brings the person in. And then once they bring them in, they've got to have this follow up sequence to continue to add value, continue to add value, continue to add value, to continue to be consistent. And I call those gorilla type of sales tactics because I said there's two type of follow-up systems we have. We have a follow-up system for the client who becomes a customer and we have a follow-up system for who? Who's the other one? For the prospect. Yeah, yeah. And and just today, seriously, just today, I was on a call with, with a client and they've been doing research in this one area. And, and so I came back and before they, they told me what they found, I asked a question because I, I, I just knew that this was going to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And the person was trying to get a hold of someone and they were trying to contact them. And they said they tried, Shay, I did social media. Shay, I sent the email. Shay, I sent a text message. And I'm not saying all this works, but I asked a question. And this is, this is something that we're finding that's working. And I said, have you tried video? They said, huh? Have you taken your phone out, did a simple, less than a one minute message, and sent it to them because in one of the things that you can do in a book called rehumanizing your business i could take my cell phone out like this i could do a quick one minute video send it to them on text send it to them on email video with email is 300 percent more likely to get opened just to let you know that if i tell them it's less than a minute they're likely to click on it and watch and the person never really tried, tried doing video. And she did it. Now, do I know what's going to happen? I'll report back to you guys because we just had the session today. But I, I want you to be thinking about how best it is for you to connect with them. And when you do, one thing that is super important and is that we've got to hit them with a recap. They got to know exactly where you were, what the next step is, and what happens in the process. Don't leave yourself in a position where you're going to have to follow up mysteriously. Make sure at the end of the conversation, you say the next thing is blank. It's already in the books. Define it. Don't leave it chance. And because you think about it, when you follow up and although they might say, fall, give me a call at three o'clock or give me a call at five o'clock, they weren't sitting there at three or five o'clock waiting for your call. Okay. Some is possible, but very few are. Typically they're doing something and they look down and say, oh, sheesh. There's been an interruption in their day. So now their brain has to shift or, or maybe got your email and try to remember everything that took place. First, if you can give them a recap and bring them up to speed, 
it works so much better. It makes it, hey, the last time we spoke, you expressed an interest in building your sales team or having us be your sales team because you're busy focusing on other areas. And when you became an entrepreneur, you didn't sign up to be the number one salesperson on your team. That, that wasn't even in your mind. Yet, today, you are the number one salesperson in your company. That means that takes energy and effort from everything else that you have to do. So you ask me to give you a call back to hear how you can either build your selling skills or you can just hand it over to a team. Most folks like to hand it over to a team because they don't want to be the number one salesperson. No, if they have a choice. So you want to think about how do you hit them with a recap? What are, what are some things that you can do to hit them with a recap up front? And I, I, I've said it before. I'm going to continue to say it. I don't think I can over say this enough is that lesson number four. We got eight. We're almost done. But lesson number four, add value in every interaction you possibly have. I want to share a quick idea with you. I want to share one more note. I, I wanted to share something that I know that will help you whether you work with us or not. I thought about you and this is where I'm at right now. You can do that with existing customers and you can do it with the prospects that are in your pipeline. The average follow-ups in the industry are annoying. They're annoying and they're annoying and they're annoying because they got one question. Are you ready to buy? They got one question. Do you want this? They got one question. You said you were going to do this and are you going to do it? But that's not you. You're going to add value. Someone do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and write those words. What's up, Robin? Write those words. Add value every interaction. If someone meets with me, the first thing I'm thinking about is how can I add value? You're not touching base. You're not saying hello, what you're up to. You're going to do that, but those are the lazy salesman or saleswoman way of going. No, no, that's... That's, that, that's, that's not you. You're going to tailor your follow-ups. You're going to be very, very specific. You've heard this before, but I got to give it to you because it's so important. The riches are in the niches. The riches are in the niches. So you're going to be very specific. Now, if you're out there and you're like, Shay, I need to update my follow-up system. Shay, I'm like so far off. It's, look, this is not a beat me up session. This is not a beat me up session. This is about how do we follow up because we all understand the fortune is in the what? The follow-up. And I just want to work with a handful of folks and, and help them put together their follow-up system. And if that's you out there, great. And if not, no big deal. We're going to still be friends. You're going you're gonna to walk in here and say, I got everything I need right now to take my business to an entirely different level. But when you're talking to them, you got to follow up. Now, when I first started, I didn't do this. No one taught me this. I knew it intellectually, but I wasn't doing it. So I would copy some responses and uh, make calls the same way. And it took me a while to kind of understand. That's what I share with my clients. I share with my students that you've got to tailor the follow-up. Is it a lot of work? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. But I don't know what the value of an of average client is for you. I don't know what the average of a lifetime client is for you. The lifetime purchase of someone with us is like almost five grand. And that's some serious money. In some cases, it's fifteen to 20000 That's the life time value of someone who starts with us today that may be with us a year from now or repurchase from us another time and a second time and later down the road. So fifteen or $20,000, when I look, that's the value. And so it's, it's, it's worth it for you to slow down and tailor. I, I don't want to stop here because I don't want to spend too much time. But add value every interaction. But, but you may have to slow down. You may have to look to the side. You may have to wonder, is there a multi-channel approach? Are there different ways that I can reach out to the same person? And I said this before, email is still king because it's the tool we check most often. But as a decision maker in any company, how many emails do you get in a day? And they probably can't count that high. But ask them how many phone calls they get in a day, they probably get two. Ask them, how many um, Facebook messages are they getting? Probably not enough. The data shows that campaigns with a phone call follow up mixed with convert with other channels convert at a much higher rate. So with that said, and Shay, if I do a phone call and I do an email, I see something on LinkedIn and my team sends them that, 
I, 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 I see something on Facebook that makes sense for me to make a comment on or they're in a, a group or some of that nature and I'm able to connect, then it builds greater rapport. It, it, I stand out from the crowd. I do something different. And isn't that what you want? What is your multi-channel approach right now? As you're listening to me and we're, we're going through this, what is the approach for you? You know, if you're listening right now and you're like, you know, Shay, I, I'm feeling this. There's there's some things that I know that um, I know that I could do. And I know there's some things that I could do better. And it's it's making sense right now. And I just need to know what would work for me in my industry. Uh, I need a second set of eyes to look at this. Um, I, I want to get another perspective. It's been a while since I slowed down, and took a look at it. Look, there is no cost, but I'm going to suggest right now that you have to take action because the universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. Systems be goals every single time. No, this is the follow up system masterclass. So text the word follow up right now. Take your phone out. In the browser where you would normally put an emoji, just write the word follow up. And up top, put in the number 202-270-1662. Now, when you do that, you're sending a text to my personal cell number. All of you are not going to do it. Intellectually, I mean, you know, statistically speaking, it's not for everybody. But here's the good news. You can. When you do it, you'll get the audit. I get that. So we'll get that to you. You get an opportunity to get the notes because you want to go back and you want to apply one of these strategies. Don't try to do all of them, but you want to apply one of them. But you also have a customized revenue session, an opportunity to have your follow up audit, not to say how good or bad it is, but really to share an idea or suggestion that you can use. And yes, you're going to get our ghosted template. So you'll get the ghosted template. I'll walk you through that. So how you can follow people who who kind of ghost you. Right. They just like disappear they said they were going to do it now they're gone you're like what in the ll cool j is going on so text the word follow up to 202-270-1662 to get the follow-up system audit include your first name include your last name include your best contact number and include your email and we will get that over to you i'm looking forward to connecting with so many of you out there and let's get your multi-channel approach in place. Follow-up cheat codes. Now, I love the follow-up cheat codes. I, I think they're I think they're so cool. Um, look, all deal size is dependent. If you got something that's a small deal, it's not that important. But the cheat codes is like um, where you might put down their um, their name, you might put down their location, you might add in there the industry that they're in right now. I mean, these, these cheat codes are for personalization that we've seen work. And the number one that works in here is having their name in the email or the name in the message. But when you put the relevancy down, hey, we're in the same industry. Hey, we're in this together. Then it takes the messaging on a subconscious level to a whole nother place. Lesson number five, I got three more. Lesson number five is using the right cadence, using the right cadence in your messaging when you're building your follow-up system. Now, if I was asking you how to build a follow-up system, most folks would say, I don't know, gotta call them, that's an email, but it's much more than that. We can automate this. Follow-up does not mean email after email after email. That's not what it means. It means diversifying the channels you use in an approach cadence, having a system because systems beat goals every single time. If, for example, someone has requested a callback or a demo, you can be more aggressive in connecting with them. You're trying to fulfill their request. So you got the call, you got the message, they opted in and said, yeah, I want to meet with you. Yes, I'm interested in building my sales team. Or, or yes, I want that website. Or, or yes, I heard there's a way that you can help me. Then maybe you can be aggressive. Uh, maybe you can call day one. You can send it, you can call day two. You can call day three with an email and a phone call and a social media message and an automated text and using Facebook bot. You can do some things because you can be a little more aggressive. They, they at least express an interest in working with you 
But if you're prospecting with cold calls, you, I don't want you doing that really. An email, well, you got to do that if that's all you have. If you don't have any other choice, you don't have any other choice. Um, they have requested nothing from you. So sending a note or leaving a message every day will be irritating and it'll be well too aggressive. We're going to stay away from that, obviously. That, that, that's not what we want. I see people do that, and typically when they do it, it's out of desperation. When they do it, in, 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 most, in most cases, it's because they're, they're, they're taking a shotgun approach. It's like, all right, I'm just going to shoot this as, as wide as I can, and when the, when the, when the leaves out, it's going to spread. The pellets are going to spread and hit as many people as possible, and I'm going to play the law of averages. Well, you've got a better chance at going to Vegas and playing a slot machine. Okay. Will it work? Yes. Do I recommend it? No. If someone downloads a resource, it doesn't automatically mean they're going to be, they want to be contacted. You've got to prove your value. Now, this is, is what's left out. This is the teachable moment. This is what you want to put in your notes. You've got to prove your value beyond the resource they already have from you. And so, they downloaded something. They got seven ways to do a follow-up system. Now when you show up, you're not showing up to talk about the seven ways <laughs> that you gave them the follow-up system. You're talking to share something unique, another perspective, another, another idea. You're there to add more value that stacks onto what they already have. And I was chatting with someone recently, and this is something that they just weren't doing. The person was following up and repeating exactly what was in the free gift did they have? No, no, no. You've got to prove your value. You've got to prove your value. Someone jot that in your notes. Put that right below the video. You've got to prove your value. Every single time. Every single time. It has to happen. Now, lesson number six of eight is eliminating desperation from your follow-ups. Sounds kind of obvious. I get it. You're like, Shay, I'm not going to be desperate. <clears throat> in fact, I don't want to be desperate. I, I, I only want to be in. The, <laughs> I want to be in a room when anybody is desperate. Okay, but sometimes it happens. You need to reread. So remove phrases like "if it's not too much trouble." I apologize in advance for bothering you. Ditch the desperation. If you want to get engagement, you're going to have to be a little more positive. You're going to have to make them want to focus. You want to make them. Focus on how you can make their life better. I'm excited that you showed up for this broadcast. I'm excited you're tuned in on this masterclass. I'm excited you're hearing this because I know that I know that I know that if you improve your follow-up system, it's going to reduce your stress. If you improve your follow-up system, it'll give you peace of mind. If you improve your follow-up system, then you know that every dollar you spent to get them as part of that follow-up system is now paying dividends over and over and over and it'll help you understand that the fortune is in the follow-up but with the right follow-up system come on somebody it will make your life better it will give you more time it will free up your stress it will allow you to get clients today that you know in your heart are falling through the cracks you're just not sure how to stop it or you have not had the time because your priority is in other areas and that's Okay, that's why we're here. We're here to help. We're here to serve. We're here to make your life easier, make it better, and make you just have more enjoyment and more fulfillment. And the end, they have more success doing what you love to do. And that's why you got in business. So when you fall up with them, make it about them. Focus 100% on how you're going to make their life better. Lesson number seven, choosing the right communication channels that are right for you. Pick up the phone. If I send a cold email and I get no response, then I pick up the phone. If I have the number, I'm still going to call. I'm still going to reach out to them. We're still going to talk to them. But here's what I want you to know. Jot this down, you know. Someone put this right below the video right now. Put this right below the video right now. Multi-channel is king. Multi-channel is king. We've got to have multiple ways that we're going to reach out to the prospect. 
And think about it. What's the best way for you? What's the best way for you? What's the best way for your prospects? And what's the best way for your, <clears throat> for your customers? We, we have multiple ways that we use. We have, um, we have the CEO Desk Hub, which is an internal communication with some of our clients. We have, we have Slack with some of our ch- cl- uh, clients. We have project management system with some of our, our clients. There are ways that, that when they become a client that we enhance the client experience through our multi-channel communications. But then for prospects, we look to do the exact same thing. And sometimes it's through the experience of what I'm doing now, which is just teaching and training and training and teaching. But I, I, I recognize that the multi-channel is king. So I'm going I'm to make a recommendation to you. It's not a new idea. You're not going to be blown away. You're not going to jump up and down and start shouting. But in order for the follow-up system to work, you got to put in the work the biggest failure point for salespeople falling up is that they flat out don't do it. I have my hand raised high. I'm guilty. Uh, because there were other priorities that day. I was in other meetings that day. I ran out of time. Change your story change your life and change your business which changes the life for someone else we've got to have a follow-up system in place now this is not a good thing it's not a bad thing you couldn't do it this is not a beat me up session so don't say oh my god Shay, you're dumping on me no 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 we're here together all boats are going to rise together in the tide. We're going to do this. We know there's another level. We're going to raise our standard in the area of follow-up, and we're going to do this doggone thing. But we're not going to do it alone because success is a team sport. You can only get so far by yourself. And I want you to think for a moment. How much money have you left on the table day after day, week after week, month after month, in some cases year after year, just because you didn't have the right follow-up system in place. Leads us to lesson number eight and the final lesson in this segment, and we're closing out. It's building relationships to build trust. And, and isn't this what follow-up does at the end of the day? It allows us to, to start the relationship, to start building a relationship, to open up and, and extend the olive branch or extend our hands and, and, and ask the partner and to collaborate and to be part of the community and work together so much. Isn't that what we work hard for? Isn't that what we're, we want to do at the end of the day? So don't waste the momentum. I shared this with another team. I said, look, we work so hard. We, we put in the time. We put in the effort. We've made the contact with someone who may have an interest, want our desire. We brought someone in who was kind of on the fence, but they decided to give our company a chance. Don't waste the momentum. Someone do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and put don't waste the momentum. This is our time. This is our year. We have the solution. You were built for this. You were built for this so to trust in this interaction trust is everything trust is what they have yes they have your word and yes they have your belief systems and and yes they can check your references out but at the end of the day they've got to trust that you can deliver the goods you can do what you say you're going to do you're going to be in it for the long run long after the credit card long after the check long after the financial Interaction that takes place, there's much, much, much more there. So we're going to build trust and we're going to deliver the specificity. Exactly what we promised to do, we're going to do. And isn't that what follow-up is all about? Someone says, Shay, what do you say when they say, why do you keep calling me? Why do you keep emailing me? Why do you keep sending me these messages? And, yeah, I get that. And what I tell my, my team and I I do myself and I practice and I share with my colleagues as I say, hey, look, when they do that, I say it's because you asked me to. You asked me to follow up with you, so I'm following with you. If you don't want me to follow with you, I won't follow with you. 
you mentioned you had an interest in having a sales team do the work or you had an interest in getting your copy. The reason I'm following up is because you asked me to. If you don't want me to follow up, we won't follow up with you. <coughs> we'll never contact you again. So we're going to deliver with specificity. That's what we're going to do. Look, if you're out there right now and you're tuning in, you're like, Shay, I get it. I want you to know here at CEO Desk, we build systems, we build strategy, and we act as your sales team because I believe systems plus a strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. Someone write that down in your notes. Systems plus a strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. Systems are duplicatable. Systems are repeatable. Systems are something you can hand to someone else. We're only looking at one system. That is your follow-up system. That's, that's the window that we're looking through right now. And we're applying a strategy on top of that system. Strategy is just what we're implementing. That's the evergreen selling system. But systems plus a strategy plus sales. And sales gives you the revenue to purchase all of the resources that are necessary to execute that big vision that you have for the people you are called to serve. A successful CEO, what's a successful CEO, Shay? People say, Shay, you're the happy entrepreneur. Indeed I am, that's a personal brand. But when I took on the reins of running a company, the head of an enterprise, a successful CEO has three things. Jot these three things down, you know, so a successful CEO has more cash flow, that means there's money coming in. They have higher profits, that means they spend less than they make, and they have the freedom to do the things they want to do when they want to do it. That is a successful CEO. So if you're listening out there right now and you're ready to have more cash flow coming in, if you've been tuned in and you've been watching and it's time for you to have higher profits, that means you spend less than you make because if not, there will always be more money going out than coming in. And if you're ready to have the freedom to help someone else do what they want to do along this journey of life, then you are, my friend, a successful CEO. So do me a favor. Look right below the video and write these words. I am a successful CEO. I want you to make that declaration right now that I am, I, I, Shea Brown, I and your name, I am a successful CEO because you have the right heart. You have a heart to give. You have a heart to serve. And you're ready to do this. And if that's you as you're writing that I am a successful CEO, if you want the notes, and I'm going to get into the ghost of CEO, I'm going to send that to you. I want you to know that we build systems, we build strategy, and we act as your sales team. Go ahead. No matter when you get a copy of this, no matter when you hear this, text the word follow-up. doesn't cost you anything. There's no cost. There's no charge. There's no, there's no catch. Text the word follow-up. That's my personal sale number to 202-270-1662. Again, 202-270-1662. Again, 202 202- 2701662 get the notes for everybody who does that we're going to send you immediately instantly and it'll come with the instructions for those that we meet with we're going to send you our ghosted script and fill in the blank temps is going to make your life so much easier so much easier so much easier um text the word fall up right now to 202-270-1662 as you do that include your first name Include your last name, include your best contact number so we can get this to you in your email and we'll get it to you right away. I want you to know as, as you're watching right now, I want you to know that, that you are amazing. Uh, oh, you want to know the number again? Okay, the number to text in is somebody, somebody, somebody said, what's the number? The number to text is my personal number is 202-270-1662. Again, 202 202- 270-1662. And then once you text the word 202-270, you got to put the word follow up in there so I know what it's about. The reason I actually put your first name, last name, and email is that we got to send it to you. And so we can't send you something if we don't know who we are sending it to, if that makes sense. So 202-270-1662. I want you to know as you're listening right now, my final thoughts is that uh, once upon a time, I wasn't focused on these skills. Follow up. I knew it. I did it enough, but I never set a goal to be at a level 10 on a scale of one to 10 and have my follow up system be a level 10. And I'm still not there. No, I'm, I'm not. And then one day I was listening to my mentor 
and they were saying that the fortune is in the follow-up. And I heard it so many times, but it was in that moment that I said, if the fortune is in the follow-up, how much effort am I putting in the follow-up other than the standard stuff I have in place? And so I, took, I made a decision that day that I was going to raise my game. And then one day I had a client that we didn't get the right experience to. And sometimes that happens in life. Right? It, just, it just does. You, you learn these lessons. You get better with these lessons over time. And I said, you know, we've got to have a follow-up system with our clients who are existing customers, but we also have to have this follow-up system for new prospects. And that's when I learned that like, they got to be on two different paths, two different messages. And the common denominator, yes, is value, but the other common denominator is client experience. And as a result of doing that and, and working with so many of our clients, I then started teaching it. And then I started seeing my clients generate revenue from other folks as a result of their follow-up system. So I wanted to share it with you now. And I want you to make a decision that today is your January 1st. You're going to get your follow-up system together. Today is your January 1st. You will have a prospecting system follow-up. Today is your January 1st. You're going to have a customer follow-up system. And that you can do this. Now, those folks that don't know what today is your January 1st means, it's one of our core mantras. And that on any given day, you have to make so many decisions. And whenever you make a decision, there's probably a thousand of them throughout the day, that decision could change the trajectory of your life. And this is one of those decisions. So I want you to do three things, three things as we close out. First, I want you to imagine what's possible. Once you have your follow-up system in place, imagine your life being much easier, much simpler. You're able to work with more people. Then number two, I want you to believe that you can do it. Your company can do it. Your team can upgrade. It can do it right now. This is the infusion that you need. And then the third thing I want you to do is take maximum action. Take action towards achieving exactly what you're looking to do. And how do you do that? For some of you, the right step is to text the word follow-up to 202-270-1662. Again, 202-270-1662. Text the word follow-up. Uh, let's have a conversation. You'll get the notes. Get a chance to meet one-on-one -on -one with me. That's my personal cell number. Include your first name, your last name, your best contact number, and your email, and my team will be there with you. So with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for being a part of this. I want you to know that you're a winner. I want you to know you're a champion. And for you, the best is yet to come because today is your January 1st and your follow-up system is in place. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shea Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you from the bottom of my heart, we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. Remember, time is so long. Life. It's short. Live in the moment and make it count. God bless. I wish you success. Peace. I'm out of here. Thanks for joining. So much fun. I'll see you at the next session.